Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So I'm coming to you guys today with a client glam tutorial. I've already started out by moisturizing Jasmine's skin. I'm adding here the Becca primer. I'm using this in her T-zone areas and also I'm sort of sweeping it through her eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and start to work on her eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. I believe this is in the shade dark brown. I'm just using this to fill in any sparse or sparse areas. I'll go in after that with the Morphe brow palette. I'm using a few of the shades in there until I get the um, brow color that I want for her. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up under her brow. I'm just using my matte concealer palette and a brush from Sephora, just making sure to outline the brow to make sure it looks clean and crisp. I'll also go back and forth with filling in the brow as I clean it up. I'm able to see more of what needs to be corrected. From here, I'll blend out that concealer. I'll also go in to mute out her eyelid. Um, color using a concealer closer to her skin tone and just blending everything together. I'll set this also with a translucent powder to get ready for my eyeshadow look. Now I told you all this is my first time doing this type of video so I lost some of the clips. Pretty much I swept in her crease brown script by MAC and also a bronzer shade and I'm now going in with soft brown by MAC to sort of define her lid space. I'm not doing a traditional cut crease. This is more of a soft look. These or This makeup look is actually going to be for her engagement photo, so I want something really nice, soft, romantic, and sultry, and a little bit blown out. So I'm just going in to build up that color as you see here now. I'm gonna start blending out everything. I'm just going back in with a clean blending brush and making sure there are no harsh lines and everything pretty much just blends smoothly together. So this is where the smokiness comes in, you guys. I'm taking a black eyeliner pencil and basically smudging out her um, top lash line. I'm gonna go over that with a black and brown shadow mix together and smoke it out. This is going to look absolutely gorgeous in her engagement photos. It gives a nice sultry, romantic look to the eye. To intensify the sultriness of this look, I'm going in with the brown shadow and packing it on the outer corner of her eye to smoke it out even more. I'm gonna go in next and pop on a lash. I'm using the Ardell Double Demi Wispy Lashes. They're absolutely gorgeous for any type of bridal makeup look. Once I have that eyelash in place, I'll go ahead and clean up any fallout. I'll then go back to smudge out that top lash line again. Like I said, ladies, I want something really romantic. Once I added the lashes, I saw that I needed to add a little bit more drama to the look, so that's what I'm doing here now. I'll actually do her other eye off camera. I'm gonna jump right into skin work. So for her foundation, I'm using the Lancome Tint Idol Foundation. I mix two different shades. Normally when I'm working with a client, I never use one shade of foundation. Especially on women of color, we have a lot of different tones in our skin, ladies. So I like to incorporate different shades to get like your own custom match. Once I finish buffing in the foundation, I do like to go back over it with the Beauty Blender to get or to reach the heart to reach places and also to just pretty much smooth everything out. It sort of breaks down the foundation even more and leaves you with a more skin like look. Now it's time for my favorite part of makeup, which is sculpting the face. I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer, two different shades mixed for her. I'm gonna go ahead and contour her face also using the William Tuttle Foundations, also two different shades. Everything I'll use, I'll leave down in my description box, lady, so be sure to check that out. But I like to add this um, William Tuttle Foundation. It's very thin and emollient, so it moves really well against the skin and it doesn't leave or add a lot of more product to the face. So I'm just going in to buff that in. This is going to give her face a nice bronzy look. It's going to add some more dimension and shape back to her face as well. I'm gonna alternate between my beauty blender and a brush, just making sure all harsh lines are blend out and everything blends smoothly together. Thank you. 
When it comes to the nose contour, ladies, I like to use a brush that fits into that nose space. I'll also go back in with a beauty blender to make sure everything is blended really well. You don't want any lines of demarcation for your nose contour. I'm going to go ahead and finish off her face. I'm going to, or actually before I do that, I'm fixing the eyebrow. I noticed that um, some of the concealer may have chipped away at the brow, so I'm just fixing that as I go along. Now I'm finishing off the face. I'm adding a little bit more of concealer under her eye and basically just pressing that in until it's really smooth. I'll go in and set the under eye with a mix of the Dermer Blend powder and my YSL powder. You guys know what I use. This gives a nice airy and smooth look under the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and set her um, concealer. Any places that I placed it, I'm basically setting it into place here now. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up her skin with powders. I'm using my Fashion Fair powder in the shade Cola. This is going to add some warmth back to her skin. I'll also sort of further intensify the bronzer on her face. I'll go in with my um, CoverGirl Ebony Queen bronzer really much at the perimeter of her face to sort of just add some more dimension to the skin. And of course, I'm gonna blend everything together as you see here. Next up, ladies, is blush. I'm using the Milani blush in the shade Red Vino. This is my first time using it, so I wasn't aware it was this pigmented. So I am gonna go ahead and tone it down by pressing a face powder on top of it, as you can see here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bronzer to her um, nose contour. I'm using the CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer, also sweeping that up into her brow. It just makes the nose contour look more blended and more natural. This is where my camera cut off with recording, so this is the only clip I got with working on her um, bottom lash line. But I'm going to go ahead and start on her lips. I'm using MAC Chestnut Liner paired with the um, liquid lipstick from Color Rain in the shade Sugar. Just having her to blend as I go along, making sure everything is blended together. So I noticed her lash line wasn't as smoky as I wanted it to be, so I'm going back in to just further smoke out her um, top lash line. Right back to lips, ladies. I'm using my lip brush to blend together the lip liner as well as the liquid lipstick by Colored Rain. Just making sure everything gets all blended. For some reason, ladies, doing lipstick is the part of makeup that I don't really look forward to. So I always spend, or I try to spend extra time on it to make sure that I am getting it right since it is going to be on your lips. So basically, from here, I'm gonna go ahead to add another lip liner. This is also by MAC. I believe this one is in the shade Plum. And I added some gloss to the lips to give it um, a little bit more dimension. I'm gonna finish off the look just adding my last finished touches, such as mascara, to make sure her bottom lashes or her lashes are blended with the false lashes. And then also setting her face. I'm using the, um, what is this, Om Glow Cosmetics setting spray in the shade Queen and then also I set with the Ben Nye Final Seal Spray. Here it is now with me fixing her um, lashes making sure everything is blended together and that's going to be it pretty much ladies for this makeup look. Again this is for her engagement photo shoot. If you want more client tutorials please be sure to thumbs up this video and until my next video ladies I will see you all later. Thank you for watching. Bye!